Tim, as Guardado takes over, it's worth pointing out that because we didn't see our first position player substitution until the fourth inning, position players, there are more of them on the bench. And now as managers make matchup pitching changes, like Sosha going with Guardado to deal with Jim Edmonds, now Jones is still sitting on the bench as opposed to in the lineup after two at-bats, and he can come out and pinch it yeah, against that, Guardado. That is a point well taken. So Andrew Jones, the right-handed batter, faces Eddie Guardado with two on, two out. And we see matchups here in the fifth inning, which is something Mike Sosha anticipated. He thought he would use Guardado, who is typically a closer, in the middle innings. Every day, Eddie. That is fair down the left field line. Roland will come home to score. Garrett Anderson, they're going to call interference down there by a fan reaching over. A ground rule double, and that's a break for the American League. Fan interference. It'll be a double. And we'll see as Dusty Baker comes out to argue. Now Tim McClellan says we, as the umpires, are going to award home plate. Yeah, I, I was going to say, on a ground rule double, if a runner is on at first base and the umpires determine that his speed will score the run, had the fan not touched the ball, they can award the runner first base. Now, clearly, for Kyle, one of the fastest guys in the major leagues, scampering around third. Well, then I'm going to change my mind. What looked to be a break for the American League, and Mike Sosha is saying the same thing. This is in the umpire's judgment that they're going to give home plate to the trail runner for Kyle. And as you saw Garrett Anderson pick that ball up, for Kyle was just tapping the third base back. Yeah, but he never, uh, in my view, they never get for Kyle. He's too fast. Garrett Anderson, a left handed thrower, has to turn around to make the throw to the pivot man. For Kyle had too much of a head of steam the way I see it. That, uh, I agree with the umpires right here. So we see a rare argument yeah. from a manager. Sosha coming out arguing with Tim McClellan. And I will come down on the side of Mike Sosha. Okay. In fact, I said that for Kyle was tapping the third base back. Anderson, when he saw the fan reach over, really kind of gave up on the ball. And when that happened down the left field line, for Kyle wasn't even at the third base back. But he can fly. And I, I think they they took that into consideration. All the things that Anderson, it was very close, but all the thing that it, things that Anderson had to do to get for a call. Ball right inside the bag. There's the ball right there. For a call, as Joe said, is yet to get to the third base bag. But he had a head of steam. Now think about all the things that Garrett Anderson has to do. Now he could make the play. There was a chance that he throws him out with the relay throw home. But the way I saw it for Kyle scores. So that's the way Tim McClellan, who is the crew chief of this group, saw it. He awarded immediately home plate. And now Pujols hits one into left field. Here comes Andrew Jones, no doubt on this, and it's 5-1 National League. Albert Pujols, who has 86 RBIs during the regular season, took a pitch that was up, lined it under the glove of Gloss for another two-out RBI hit. Looked like a high slider from Guardado. Ooh, that is right in the wheelhouse of Albert Pujols. The thing about Pujols that's startling, and all the players talk about it, not only does he have, you can see Guardado saying that ball was high. Now it's Bonds at the plate, one on, two out. But he, can, he has such great plate coverage, just like Barry Bonds. Ninth man to bat in the inning, third at bat for Barry Bonds, one on, two out. And Bonds is 0 for 3. Delgado taps the bag, and that's it. In the inning, the first run scoring on a home run by Todd Helton. He's hit 21 during the regular season. The National League jumps out in front with a five-run fifth. It's five to one. Our horse is too small. July 25th comes the epic true story of four long shots. I'll give it a go. 
took the nation. Your little horse is selling out the cheap seats. On the ride of our lives. Hey, Charles, what do you think turned this horse around? We just gave him a chance. Sometimes all somebody needs is a second chance. Seabiscuit, rated PG-13, at theaters Friday, July 25th. We're here to learn how to trust our wireless phones, which is hard because we've all been hurt before, haven't we? Johnny? We're accepting that our phones are unreliable, that some features work here and not over there. That's not helping. Try hugging the phone, not choking it. Okay. Sprint is different. All your services work the same wherever you go on the most complete all-digital wireless network in the nation. Like voicemail and email? Even clear calls. I think we just made a breakthrough. PCS from Sprint. Try the nation's most complete wireless network. Okay, watch closely. Big, small. Again, big, small. Big, small. Radio Shack now has cool name brand personal electronics like PDAs, next generation wireless phones, and digital recorders. You know, smaller is cooler. Here, killer! Radio Shack, you've got questions, we've got answers. Dear Commissioner, Major League Baseball is great, but you know what would make it even more exciting? Instead of a warning track, how about a warning moat? Here's Winder. He smacks a deep fly to center. Hayes is back to the moat. Uh, he's wet. Yeah, but did he hold on? Well, that's the question. He did. <laughs> Gator got him. <laughs> that's good fun. Oh, fans love it. Should I play it safe or go for it? I'd say either way, Annika. KFC Honey Barbecue Wings or new boneless wings. You can beat it with the ladies and the men. You both. One great taste, two great choices. Choose between new boneless wings or honey barbecue wings. Get seven for $2.99 or 20 for $7.99. Aquafina and the crew of the Aquafina Purity One Lightship are proud to be a part of tonight's game coverage. We hope you're enjoying this pure view from high in the sky. You saw the score. It's 5-1 to one National League with a five-run fifth inning. Changes all over the place for the National League, and that includes the man on the mound as Posada stands in. 0 for 1. Russ Ortiz, who pitched for Dusty Baker, now the manager of the Cubs, last year when both were with San Francisco, finds a strike. Away we go. We've got Richie Sexton at first base. Luis Castillo, a late addition. He's at second base. Rafael for Cal stays in the game at short after pinch hitting for Renteria. There's a strike and it's 0 and 2 over at third base. It's Mike Lowell. What a year he's having for the Marlins. He's off the market. Luis Gonzalez is in the game in left. Andrew Jones stays in in center. And over in right it's Preston Wilson. Lopez is still catching as Posada flares one foul and he would have to assume although we won't know until the next time the spot comes up. That Barry Bonds is probably finished as the DH after going 0 for 3 at the plate. I think one of the big reasons Javi Lopez is still catching is because of Russ Ortiz. The Braves starter with 12 wins this year. Traded from San Francisco and what a job he's done for Bobby Cox and Leo Mazzoni down in Atlanta. Jerry Wood went one inning. One hit two strikeouts. And now it's Ortiz, the fourth pitcher of the evening for the National League. So the American League down by four runs here in the bottom of the fifth inning. One, two pitch, two and two. Woody Williams is getting loose. Brought 30 family and friends with him to this all-star game at U.S. Cellular Field. Is that right? 30. 30. A 2-2 pitch. A strikeout starts the night for Russ Ortiz. And let's check in with Steve Lyons, who's standing by with Todd Help. All right, Joe, Todd got things started in the fifth inning for the National League with the two-run homer. And you guys take a lot of heat. You, Preston Wilson, Larry Walker, about the rare air that up there in Colorado. But nothing too cheap about a home run dead central in this ballpark. No, not at all. The, the ball flies uh, pretty good here. But... Uh, we do take a lot of heat, but we feel we can hit anywhere uh, against any pitcher, and uh, we, we take that approach on the road, and that's uh, been working a little bit uh, for us lately. Do you guys feel, as, as your National League club looks at things right now, with the guys you have in the pen, with Smoltz and Wagner and Gagne, this game turns into a seven-inning game when you put five runs up in the fifth inning like that? Uh, nobody wants to face those guys. They are filthy, and uh, we, we felt, uh, we talked about it in the clubhouse, and we could just 
get a lead that uh, things are going to work out pretty well for us. How much fun is it that you don't have to face them today? Exactly. I'll, I'll let the American League uh, worry about them today. All right, Todd, thank you very much. Joe Spott, back to you. All right, Steve, thanks. Thanks to Todd Helton. Congratulations to Todd Helton, who hits a home run and now gets to sit and watch the rest of this one with you. Here's a 2-0 pitch. That is on the outside corner. Another at bat for Ichiro, his third plate appearance of the night. With Soriano on deck, Delgado, if anybody gets on. 5-1 to one National League, fifth inning. 2-1 pitch. 3-1. Here's what it looked like. Started the scoring for the National League. It's in the inning by Helton, Roland, for Cal, Andrew Jones, and Albert Pujols. 3-1 pitch. see Ichiro trying to do something with that pitch just chopping it over to the left side and the counts full three and two he never becomes overly enamored with power particularly with two strikes those high choppers to the left side he outruns the ball he's running when he hits it three eight that's his time down to the first base back and he can go down to first on ball four One on, one out. Wanda Sykes is at the ballpark, one of our first mega stars that joins us here at U.S. Cellular Field. All right, Wanda. On Fridays on Fox, you have to believe that Jim Belushi is somewhere here. You have to believe that Bill Murray is here. Both from Chicago. Second City. Both. It's anything but Second City, this town. Both Cubs fans. One on, one out. Soriano takes up and away from Russ Ortiz. Soriano is struck out and flying to center. So who will bridge the gap for the National League to that three-headed monster down in their bullpen? Steve Lyons and Todd Helton both talking about it, reinforcing your point earlier. Five outs before the National League gets to the seventh inning. So it's Ortiz now with Woody Williams getting loose for the sixth. One on, one out. Soriano with a good swing, one and one. Dusty Baker has this group which to choose down the stretch in this game. Look at the opponent's average that Tim marks. Gagne is just sensational with three pitches he can throw for strikes. And all three complement one another. A left-handed fireballer, a right-handed fireballer, and then Gagne with a great change up and off-speed stuff. Runner at first, one out. Russ Ortiz dealing with Soriano. That's not well hit into right center field, and Preston Wilson will come get it. Two out. Soriano, who's that rare combination of power and speed, is 0 for 3. And Carlos Delgado, who has the only RBI of the night for the American League, walks in. <laughs> Schmidt, Wolf. Kerry Wood, Russ Ortiz, the pitchers tonight for the National League. See some of the stars that are still on the bench for the AL, like Giambi, Garcia Parra, Dusty Baker, emptied his dugout a moment ago. Wouldn't say this game is out of reach the way this pitching has been. You get that feeling, and with what's lurking in the bullpen, as opposed to a 2-1 game or a 3-1 game, it's 5-1, which may have made it a little easier for Dusty Baker to push some of those guys out of the dugout and make substitutions. Delgado 2-0. By the way, if the National League wins, they would have gotten home field advantage in the World Series this year anyway. So this just in. <laughs> 
Whoever wins the World Series, that will determine home field advantage for the All-Star game next no, year. No, no, oh. it doesn't work that way. Ichiro <laughs> is ceiling, and Delgado fouls it back. So you're now trying to make more changes. I was only kidding. <laughs> Whoever wins a World Series, that league gets home field advantage in the All-Star game. <laughs> next year's All-Star game will be played in Houston. <laughs> well, they alternate every year. Yeah, right. ALNL. Delgado with a count of two and one. Oh, what a rip. What a rip. It's two and two. So strong. Got in on him just a wee bit. You can see Lopez sitting inside. That's where American League pitchers try to pitch Delgado inside. Most power hitters you try to crowd. One on two out, two balls, two strikes. Delgado took low for ball three. Mark Mulder warming up a moment ago. Likely the next pitcher for the American League as their bullpen is quiet at the moment. Runner at first. Ichiro will go. 3-2. Chased it. Delgado strikes out. Two strikeouts in the inning for Ortiz. And the American League strands its fifth runner. We go to the sixth. NL on top by four. They're here. Watching. Thousands will be chosen, and somebody's gonna pay. Ah! You've been spotted. You've won. I won. It's the Aquafina Pure Luck promotion. Get spotted with an Aquafina, and you could win pure cash. Ah! Ah! With thousands of winners each week, this could be your lucky water. Why would you want another credit card? Well. What if it supported your school, reflected your interests, gave you something back? Bank One gives you hundreds of cards to choose from, so you can choose the one that's right for you. Still carrying around someone else's credit card? Maybe it's time you got one of your own. Individual Answers, Bank One. This summer, Take it to the limit. Put the pedal to the metal. GM presents Summer Drive 2. Up to $4,000 cash back. Or 0% APR. Maybe we've gone too far. Summer Drive 2, the max. For centuries in an ancient tomb is a dark power. It is the source of all life and also of death that could destroy the world. It's a weapon more powerful than you could ever imagine. Unless she can stop it. It's in Africa. On July 25th. Get down! Academy Award winner Angelina Jolie is Lara Croft. Some things are not meant to be found. The Tomb Raider, The Cradle of Life, rated PG-13. Friday, July 25th, everywhere. When you hit the brakes, a whole lot of things have to go just right. It's the same with brake repair. That's why you can count on Midas. Right now, get $20 instant savings on any brake service from Midas. $20 instant savings on any brake service. Midas. Ever wanted to get away from the hustle bustle of the big city? We're gonna make Waterford Falls our new home. Oh, that's marvelous! <laughs> Falling on hard times, have you? This fall, one man is searching for a life less complicated, but he'll discover. Join me? Don't smoke, sir. Oh, it's string cheese. That these plain folks are just plain nuts. I can't eat this. I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Cardiac arrest. Come on, one little piece. A minute with Stan Hooper, a new comedy coming. First pitch of the sixth inning from Mark Mulder is in for a strike. Preston Wilson, his first at bat of the night, took over for Gary Sheffield. So far, the changes appear to be straight up. Wilson now, then Sexton, then Lowell. 
The three hitters in this inning for the National League. They lead it by four. 1-1 one, one delivery from the lefty Mulder is a good fastball right down the middle, one and two. Talk about a three-headed monster for the National League in their bullpen. The Oakland A's have it in their starting rotation. Mulder's part of it with Barry Zito, the other left-hander. And, of course, Tim Hudson. The catcher for the A's is Ramon Hernandez, and he's behind the plate catching the 12-game winner. Up the middle, Alex Rodriguez under his glove, and a leadoff base hit for Preston Wilson. Just out of the reach of A-Rod. Yeah, Mike Socia telling us before the game that he was going to try to match Posada to at least catch Roger Clemens and then bring Hernandez in to catch Mark Mulder. Mulder, by the way, is a local product from Chicago, went to Michigan State, and is the winningest pitcher in baseball over the last three years. 52 wins. The big body of Richie Sexton is out of the way. 6-8 is Sexton. You see Rodriguez making that dive to his left. Three at bats. That's what Sosha said coming in. And that's what Sosha, it appears, is sticking with. In this four-run game, we're in the sixth inning already. And still on the bench is a name like Garcia Parra for the American League. Maglio Ordonez. Veritek. Blaylock. Everett. That's too far inside. Two balls and a strike on Sexton. You mentioned Hank Blaylock of the Texas Rangers and Socia pointing out that the American League only carries two third basemen. So putting Blaylock at third prematurely, that could be countered by Dusty Baker bringing in a short reliever like Billy Wagner late in the game. Preston Wilson was jumping around over at first base. So Mulder stepped off. Two balls and a strike on Sexton. 25 home runs on the year, and that's a double play ball. Combination of A-Rod, Boone, and now Giambi on a tag. Two out. So with the bases empty, we'll tell you for the first time, fans around the world will have the opportunity to participate in the official voting for the Ted Williams Most Valuable Player and tonight's All-Star Game via the 2003 All-Star Game MVP vote presented by Pepsi on MLB.com. The online vote will count for 20% of the overall vote. Here's Lowell with the bases empty, two out. Boy, did it change some pennant races, and I think no more than the Central Division in the National League when the Florida Marlins said Mike Lowell was off the trading market for the rest of this season. In fact, the Marlins went out and added Uget Urbina. Tony La Russa with the Cardinals. I'm sure Jimmy Williams with the Astros, fearful of the Cubs with their terrific pitching, adding a bat and a presence like Lowell at third base, which is a hole for them right now on their ball club. But Mike is at the plate with his 28 home runs, already a career high, and his 76 RBIs. Fastball is, I guess, high and tight, two and two. Florida Marlins seem to be doing the opposite this year of what they did in 1997 by adding Urbina. Of course, they won the world championship in 97, escalating salaries. So on a smaller scale, by getting Urbina, that took Lowell off the market. Still working to try and get the fans back after yeah. that. Yeah taste was left in their mouths seeing their world championship team demolished. That's down the right field line. That ball is down fair. It'll take a hop. And it is a ground rule double with two out, a runner at second, and Loduca will come up and pinch hit. Here is Mike Lowell talking about his comeback battle with cancer. Once I was educated on what type of cancer I had, how curable it was, then I started feeling better that this could be beat. Then I think I took it to the next step that now once I went through all the treatments and everything, I'm not going to give up on what I wanted to do since I was six years old. 
testicular cancer battled his way back and here he is an all star and one of clearly the best players in the league is that line drive is at least kept on the infield by the glove of Mulder and that may have saved a run a floating line drive off the bat of Paulo Duca who was pinch hitting for Javi Lopez and that big body and that outstretched glove of Mulder kept it on the infield. Yeah, I think uh, I think it got in a little bit on Laduca, but when balls are hit on a line back to the mound, your first reaction is it's hit hard. So you defend yourself and protect yourself on a ball hit hard, and often you'll see a ball go off the, the heel of the glove, the webbing of the glove, and an infield hit for Laduca. Now first and third with two out. And Castillo, the addition to this National League club, taking over for the injured Giles, the second baseman, when he couldn't play because of the concussion, took a ball. There's a strike, and it's one and one. With a guy like Castillo and his speed, with a runner on at third base and two outs, it makes him doubly dangerous because he can beat out an infield hit. He leads the majors in infield hits over the last three years. And he chops one back to Mulder. The inning comes to a close. So three hits in the inning for the National League, but a double play ball mixed in. Two left, three on the day, and we go to the bottom of the sixth, 5-1 NL. The man's got a right to protect his property and his life, and we ain't letting no rancher or his lawman take either. Men are going to get killed here today, and I'm going to kill them. You the one killed our friend? That's right. Open Range, directed by Kevin Costner, rated R, starts August 15th. Let's say this is your car. Nice hard top. If you drive safely, meaning you do stuff like obey the speed limit, always check your blind spot, and avoid accidents, hey, watch it, lead foot, then Allstate could reward you with something you'll eat right up. Some green. <laughs> up to 20% off your insurance bill. It's the Allstate Safe Driver Discount. Call today and find out how you're in good hands with Allstate. Hey, this is for the safe driver. Here you go. Come on in, Derek. I thought we'd discuss this thing and had it all worked out. You're our starting shortstop. How can you possibly afford to spend two nights dancing, two nights eating out, and three nights just carousing with your friends? Oh. If you want to enjoy the New York nightlife, bring your Visa card. Because Orso, Cheetah, and the Broom Street Bar don't take American Express. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. It's all Holyfield. You know, for a million dollars, I would totally go around with Holyfield. What? What? How bad could it be? That's all you got? <laughs> Tell it over a great tasting, less filling Miller Lite. It's Miller time. Look at this. The ring girl likes me. The 2003 All-Star Game on Fox brought to you by Miller Lite. Tell it over a great tasting, less filling Miller Lite. It's Miller time. New pitcher of the game for the National League, and it's Woody Williams. And this could be last chance cafe for the American League. When you think of the weapons that Dusty Baker has down in his bullpen at his disposal with Smoltz, Gagne and Wagner. That's off the end of the bat. Out of play, one ball, one strike. Woody Williams, a 12-game winner, the ace of the Cardinals staff, an ERA of 3.01, and he has been sensational since the Cardinals picked him up a couple of seasons ago from the Padres. 
That's too far outside. It's two and one. Picked him up in August of 2001 for Ray Lankford. A Rod has struck out and grounded the third. Right down the middle, two and two. Our sprint virtual manager question who will break Henry Aaron's career home run record? Bonds, Rodriguez, someone else, or nobody? And you voted. The answer, Bonds. Reaching for it is Rodriguez. For Kyle, a spin, a throw, and he throws it into the dugout. He's made 21 errors during the regular season. He wheeled. He has a great arm. And somebody just got a wake-up call in that National League dugout after this. Sometimes errors are the result of range. A guy who a lot of guys would not normally get to a ball like this, but for Kyle with a lot of confidence in that throwing arm, the pirouette at second, and he gets under the throw and fires it into the National League dugout. Steve Lyons is down in that dugout. Uh, Steve, you okay down there? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm okay, but you know, uh, Mark Pryor's got a target on his back over this last week. He ran into Marcus Giles earlier in a ball game, and he was the one that was directly in line to be hit with that errant throw, and it was a bullet, I'll tell you. Here is Garrett Anderson, who's one for two. So Anderson is third at bat. Runner at second with nobody out. It's a base hit and an error. Single for Rodriguez, E6. And Anderson gets into one into right center field. Garrett Anderson has Homer. A two-run shot, and it's 5-3. He won the home run derby last night. And he gets one here in the sixth inning. Garrett Anderson with a no doubter in the right center field. You may remember the ball Todd Helton hit to open the fifth inning for the National League. That ball was about the same height, right between the letters and the belt. Second time All Star gets his first home run, and it was crunched. Mike Socia said Garrett Anderson has a flat swing and it was a compliment here's the error that opened things up for the American League to score and they did not waste any time taking advantage of the error the throwing error by for Edgar Martinez one ball one strike trying to go the other way it's one and two nobody loosening for the National League in their bullpen as the 12 game winner Woody Williams Gives up a hit and a home run. A lot of characteristics make a major league player. I don't think there's a smoother player on either team than Anderson. Two balls, two strikes. He's one of those guys that is a big leaguer because of him being so smooth. And it sometimes looks effortless that people say, well, he just doesn't care. Yeah, He's not yeah. really into the yeah. game, which is an unfair assessment. As Martinez strikes out one away. Edgar Martinez 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. The game looks difficult to play for some players. It does not look difficult to play for Garrett Anderson. It's now Vernon Wells. His first at bat, Matsui, while he was in there in the seventh spot, 1 for 2. And Wells takes the ball outside. Vernon Wells should be regarded as one of the game's best young players as he hits one into center field. Back is Andrew Jones. Tough to get it out of here to center. And that's out number two. They say the ball just dies in center field here at U.S. Cellular. Well, if you hit it over Andrew Jones's head, you better get it out of here. Otherwise, it's going to be caught before it hits the ground. We were in the clubhouse, the American League clubhouse, or the National League clubhouse before the game. And I asked uh, Andrew, I said, uh, uh, have you always played so shallow? He said, I played more shallow with low ball pitchers. Breaking balls popped up to the right side. Sexton back to get it. And after the home run, three in a row retired. And deeper for high ball pitchers. That was high and he caught it. 
So the American League closes it down. A hit, an error, a blast. It's 5-3 after 6. Back after this from your local Fox station. Rated number one, morning, afternoon, and night. And winner of the Emmy Award for Cleveland's best newscast, the number one and only Fox 8 News. Get Tank and the boys on Kick of the Hill, weeknights at 7.30 on Fox 8. Just, uh, yeah, just get that corner down. Is that a dishwasher with a third rack? The Maytag Jet Clean 2, the only dishwasher with three full racks to hold hard-to-fit things. And with an extra wash arm, dishes get clean the first time. There's never been a better time to buy a Maytag. Maytag, depend on us. Now's the time to save at B&B Appliance in Euclid, Bedford Heights, and Middleburg Heights. Let's say this is you. Yeah, you're the king. But being the king isn't always easy. So, when you're with Allstate, you'll have over 50,000 professionals to help protect you. From claims adjusters who can help you fix a broken castle, to emergency assistants to ride your rescue, to lawyers that go to court with you if you need them, and your Allstate agent who knows the moves to help you. Helping the king feel protected. Just one more way, you're in good hands with Allstate. Your home, your ideas, and the freedom to express them. At Lowe's, we make it easy. Lowe's decorative hardware selection has everything from art deco to modern to traditional. And Lowe's hardware help desk has experts to help you cut, size, and customize. So everything fits perfectly. And at Lowe's, we have low prices every day, guaranteed. That's our promise. Lowe's, improving home improvement. Why do people buy name brand TVs, George? Well, because name brands are the best assurance of quality, Joey. And quality is what H.H. Craig sells. Cool, we got all nine name brands swimming around right here. Oh, yeah, more name brand big screens, more digital TVs, wide screens, over 100 models in stock. Today through Saturday, take your pick and get 50 to $300 off all TVs, $4.99 or more. H.H. Craig, family owned since 1955. You ever get the feeling someone's watching you back? First up, for Cal takes a strike. Mulder back out there for another inning. Gave up three hits in the sixth. For Cal, one for one with a single run scored when he pinch hit for Renteria in the fifth. Reaching for it, it's 0 and 2. Nomar Garcia Parra takes over at short for A Rod. Rodriguez, while he was in there, one out of three. Top of the order for the National League. Furcal took a ball inside, one and two. You can see that little motion with the Ramon Hernandez with his mitt saying, keep that ball up. It's the value of having your own catcher in the All-Star game. A strikeout, the first of the night for Mulder. Let's go down to Steve Lyons with Tony La Russa. All right, Joe, Tony's managed three of these games and has now coached in three of these games. Joe and Tim have been talking about how this game certainly feels different now that it counts. Talk to us about how it's being managed differently. Well, I think most of it has to do with uh, the personalities and the philosophies of Dusty and Mike. I mean, these guys are competitors, they're winners. You ever go against them in spring training? I mean, they, they don't want to lose. And I think both of them are really talking about the pride of the league. I do think home field is an extra edge, but I think if you're playing this thing with nobody watching, these two guys are going to manage it hard. And certainly puts a little more pressure on the manager. Were you yourself in favor of the change to have a home field advantage be determined by this game? Yeah, I'm not sure. if home, I think home field is a significant advantage. I'm not sure if winning the All-Star game is the best way, but anything that adds to the competition feel, the competitive feel here, is really good. And it helps the manager because they're trying to promote, let's get serious, this is not an exhibition. I know you're never afraid to protect your players, but when was the last time in an All-Star game you saw a manager come out and argue a play like Sosa did? Well, that's a good example. You know, Mike, I mean, he wants to win this game, and I guarantee if it's been vice versa, Dust would be out there. I mean, these two guys are great competitors. I think it adds a lot to the, the flavor of this game. All right, Tony, thank you very much. Joe, Tim? Steve, thanks, and thanks to Tony La Russa. Remember last year when Tony La Russa and Dusty Baker got into a mini war of words during the NLCS, and I think as a gesture of goodwill, as you look at Sosha talking to Tim McClellan about that play when they awarded for Kyle home plate on that ball, the spectator interference down the left field line. Dusty Baker wanted Tony La Russa on his staff as Andrew Jones reaches, gets it, hits it, goodbye. Home run, Andrew Jones. 
And it's 6-3 National League. Impressive piece of hitting by Andrew Jones. Andrew Jones hitting a ball where even he couldn't catch it. Watching him take, uh, him take batting practice tonight, Joe, I don't think any player on either side can hook the ball into that left center field gap any better than Andrew Jones. The reason for that, I believe, his arms are so long and he can reach balls outside off the plate that most guys can't get to. So Jones goes deep. Now it's Gonzalez with one out, nobody on. See this pitch right here, nope. I thought it was a little farther out than, than that. Uh, a laser by Jones. Still reaching for it and still almost down on a knee when he was, when he made contact. And the ball just carried, carried, carried. Just down a little out of a crouch and Andrew Jones well, I still think you have to ask the question, is he going to take that next step and be one of the game's superstars? As that's on the inside corner, one and two. Here's a guy who burst onto the national scene in 1996 with those two home runs in game one of the World Series. He's been in the spotlight since hitting those home runs as a 19-year-old for seven years now. He's still not really the top build athlete on his own team. I think Sheffield or Chipper Jones would take that on. Well, he's a superstar on defense, but he's got a lot of holes on offense. Holds the bat down the, uh, right on the knob and balls away out of the strike zone have given him problems as Brendan Donnelly of the Angels is warming for the American League. So Luis Gonzalez, who was at the plate, his first time at the plate, the Arizona Diamondback, gets a base hit through the right side off the lefty Mulder. And now Rondell White grounds one of the shortstop at R.C. Park. Step, throw, inning over. But not before the National League adds to its lead. Andrew Jones with a home run on a line into the bleachers in left center field. It is 6-3 NL. Time to stretch and time for God Bless America to be performed tonight by recording artist Amy Grant. Please rise and honor America as we welcome and every recording artist Amy Grant to sing God Bless America.
Now you've got it. The 2003 Ford Authorized Clearance is here. 0% financing plus up to $1,500 bonus cash. Or choose up to $4,500 cash back when you buy or lease. Any way you want it, get it at the Ford Authorized Clearance. If you haven't looked at Ford lately, look again. Any way you want it, it's the way you need it. Any way you want it. Introducing Taco Bell's Chicken Caesar Grilled Stuffed Burrito. It's overflowing with great Caesar salad taste. Packed with tender all-white meat chicken and crisp romaine lettuce. Then topped with tangy Caesar dressing and crunchy red strips. All wrapped to go in a grilled flour tortilla. Our new Chicken Caesar Grilled Stuffed Burrito so loaded with great Caesar salad taste, you may get... Guys, move! Seized by Caesar. Oh, man. To fill up on great Caesar salad taste, think outside the bun. Mount up! We got the call. They count on their skills. It's a game or a test. Could be a bit of both. They count on their training. What's it like? The real thing. It's faster. But on August 8th... When you fail, and you probably will, you're off the force. They'll have one reason... I will give 100 million dollars to whoever gets me out of here! ...to count on each other. That's what we're trained for. They're coming out of the woodwork. SWAT. Rated PG-13. In theaters August 8th. Sosa! Yes! Hey, yo! Oh, come on! Two out of three. I don't think so. Hey! Who we'll pay, Bruce? The 2003 All-Star Game on Fox is brought to you by Taco Bell. Think outside the bun. By Aquafina, the best things in life for pure Aquafina bottled water, purity guaranteed. And by NikeRunning.com. Glad you're with us. We've had some fun as this game moves into the bottom of the seventh. Brett Boone will step to the plate for the first time. And he will be dealing with Billy Wagner. All 5'11", 195 pounds of Billy Wagner, who has big legs, gets a lot of drive from those legs, and can throw the ball in triple digits with regard to his velocity. Boone is jammed, and he pops it into right for Preston Wilson. For the AL, their leadoff man is gone here in the seventh. The mantra for the American League right now should be, all right, all you fastball hitters, and here's a good fastball hitter. But against Billy Wagner, you got to keep the ball down. The hometown favorite coming up. And a nice moment and a great ovation from these White Sox fans. They appreciate the kind of season Ordonez has had, the kind of career he has had. And ball one inside. Billy Wagner drives him off the plate. up to the right side. Is it playable for Sexton? Looks like it. Two up, two down. Two weak fly balls to the right side. And the bases are empty after the four-time All-Star Ordonez fouls out. I think you can make a case that Billy Wagner throws harder than anybody in the game. He has struck out more per nine innings. Now, remember, he's a short reliever, but more per nine innings than any pitcher in the history of the game. And what's amazing is he was first a right-hander. Right. Broke his arm a couple of times. How about that? So he said, I'll start throwing the ball left-handed. And to think of the athletic ability as Giambi says athletic ability, goodbye. Home run, Jason Giambi. Lefty on lefty, and Giambi goes deep to make it a two-run game. Billy Wagner has not turned to watch a ball hit like that against him very often. Seemed to be a quick head turn. Man could hurt his neck turning it that quick. Now it's Ramon Hernandez, the catcher in the lineup, batting in the number three spot. It's a 6-4 game. In the blink of an eye, 
I don't think he even turned. When a pitcher doesn't turn, he knows it. I don't think he turned his head. 2-0 on Ramon Hernandez. It's a slow turn. Belatedly. That's a disgusted turn. A 2-0 pinch to Ramon Hernandez. Kind of an iron man behind the plate for Oakland and a guy who offensively has taken it up a notch after a so-so year last year. Two balls and a strike, two out, nobody on, a run home now three and one with Nomar Garcia Parra on deck. Garcia Parra, a lethal fastball hitter. Wagner has to give Hernandez something to hit, and he does to third. A high hop for Lowell, and the throw across in plenty of time. In the inning, two quick outs, and then wham, Jason Giambi. First pitch from Billy Wagner. Get by 6-4 after 7. I'll race my coat. I'll race my dog. I'll race any dog. I'll race your dog. Pick the animal. I'll race it and beat it. I'll race you, your cousin, your auntie, your mom, your dad, your nephew, your, your nieces, whoever. You name somebody? And I'll race them. I'll race an All-American, All-State, world-class athlete. Point them out to me. I'll race Lance Armstrong on his bike. 100 meters. 200 meters. Anybody. Anywhere. Anytime. Put them next to me. You say go. I'll race them. And I'll beat them. It's a story. Tradition. A look on the other guy's face. To be my own Manning. Being a woman. Because last year, I couldn't. Millions of little girls. Every athlete is fueled by something. Introducing the Power Mac G5, the world's fastest, most powerful personal computer. Believe me, I know this place like the back of my hand. The Saturn View comes standard with four-wheel independent suspension. This is it. You're gonna love Split it. folding rear seats for more cargo space. Excuse me. Check it out. Dent resistant side panels. I'm cool. The Saturn View. Get in, get away. Get a new 2003 Saturn View at 0% APR financing and $1,000 toward your down payment. For restrictions, see your retailer. Round trip, blah, blah, to blah, 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 blah dollars. Blah, blah, with blah, blah on the side, blah dollars. Blah, 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 blah dollars. Winning a weekend house and escaping the blah, 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 priceless. Every time you use your MasterCard, you're automatically entered for a chance to win use of a weekend house for a year. Go to MasterCard.com for details. I'm not supposed to be here. There's only one place Wanda really belongs. I bought you a falafel. Wanda at large. Fridays at 8.30 starting August 8th on Fox. Great work, beautiful rendition of God Bless America by Amy Grant with her husband, recording artist, country music recording artist, Vince Gill. Country music, you think of Tim McGraw, and I know that makes you, Tim, think of your dear friend, Tug McGraw. Uh, Tug McGraw uh, going into the Moffitt Cancer uh, Treatment Center in Tampa, Florida, today. And I was at the Phillies home opener back in April. And the day after the home opener, I went to a Tim McGraw concert across the street at the Spectrum, the last year of Veterans Stadium this year. And after singing two songs, Tim McGraw said, this is how he introduced himself. I'm Tug McGraw's son. And the concert ended showing Tug McGraw striking out Willie Wilson and the only time the Philadelphia Phillies have won a world championship. 
and the place went crazy. Went crazy. The 1-1 one -one to Preston Wilson. Fouled back here again, 1-2. and two. As far as we know, the Rum Tum Tugger's doing fine. Good reports as you look at Maglio Ordonez taking over and right. Good reports after that frightening original diagnosis that happened during spring training. No balls, two strikes. Preston Wilson out of the way of a pitch from Brendan Donnelly, the right-hander with a 0. 3-8 ERA setting up for the Angels in 40 games. He gave up no earned runs in, in April, one in May, oh. and one in June. <laughs> the one-two pitch. Another foul. Otherworldly. At the break, the lowest since Bill Landrum. Pittsburgh Pirate. 1989. One ball, two strikes. Wilson strikes out. Good pitch down and away. Let's go back to 1980. World Series Game 6, October 21st. And here's the highlight that was played at the end of that concert. There's Willie Wilson at the plate. And the two-time All-Star, Tug McGraw. His arms in the air, that famous look. The leap by Mike Schmidt. And a celebration at the bet. With one out, nobody on. Here's Sexton. First pitch called ball one. Sexton bounced into a double play his first time up. 6-4 as Donnelly tries to keep it that way. The American League in the bottom of this eighth will have Garcia Parra to start it. Then Garrett Anderson, who's still in the game. Edgar Martinez is the DH due up third. 2-0 on Sexton. So with Aaron Boone on deck, we've seen Dusty Baker go through that bench a little quicker than Mike Socia has in the American League side. 2-0 pitch. That's popped up into right. Ordonez knows how to play that spot. With the bases empty, Aaron Boone will bat for Mike Lowell. The Major League Baseball All-Star Game trading card sweepstakes winning code is 4YLWW4KW. Subject to verification, this winner receives a trip for eight to game one of the 2003 World Series, including round trip, air and ground transportation, and hotel accommodations. Where will game one of the 2003 World Series be? In an American League city or a National League city? National League on top, trying to determine that. 6-4 here in the top of the eighth, and a strike and a foul to Aaron Boone, who not only gets a chance to hit here, but will take over at third and add to the defensive strength of the National League in the bottom of this eighth. hit on a line but right at Ordonez. So Aaron Boone in the game. Brett Boone at second base for the American League. Bob Boone, his dad in the crowd along with their grandfather Ray Boone. And great grandson Jake, four years old and the son of Brett. 6-4 NL. We're here to learn how to trust our wireless phones, which is hard because we've all been hurt before, haven't we? Johnny? We're accepting that our phones are unreliable, that some features work here and not over there. That's not helping. Try hugging the phone, not choking it. Okay. Sprint is different. All your services work the same wherever you go on the most complete all-digital wireless network in the nation. Like voicemail and email? Even clear calls. I think we just made a breakthrough. PCS from Sprint. Try the nation's most complete wireless network. When you hit the brakes, a whole lot of things have to go just right. It's the same with brake repair. That's why you can count on Midas. Right now, get $20 instant savings on any brake service from Midas. $20 instant savings on any brake service. Midas. Sorry, I was driving too fast. No, my fault. You must be gelling like a felon. Dr. Scholl's massaging gel insoles are so soft, they make any shoe feel outrageously comfortable. Are you gelling? Dr. Scholl's. Ah! Ah! 
Dude, dude, check one dude. <laughs> dude. Yeah, they're back. And so is the All-American Blizzard Treat. Red, white, and blue M&M's candies blended with DQ soft serve and chocolate. Get one in July, and you could win a trip to an All-American destination or free blizzards for a year. So do one and DQ something different. Do it, do it. Do it, do it. Okay, sweetie. Bye-bye. Can you check on my flight, please? Sure. Call team. Now at Radio Shack, find great deals on full-featured wireless phones, like this Samsung A500 PCS Vision phone from Sprint with full-color screen. Just $79.99 with two-year agreement after $120 in instant savings. How do you always have the answers to everybody's questions? Radio Shack, you've got questions, we've got answers. The 2003 All-Star Game on Fox is brought to you by Radio Shack, official sponsor of Major League Baseball. By Midas Auto Service Experts. Midas, we do that. And by Sprint, introducing PCS Vision, clearly a whole new way to look at wireless. Up above, the aerial coverage of tonight's game is courtesy of the Aquafina Purity One light ship. With a little pure luck, you could be spotted by the light ship for a chance to win pure cash and pure filth is how you would describe Eric Gagne. This guy gets my vote as the nastiest coming out of either bullpen. He throws three pitches, all for strikes, he says, as Gagne bounces a 57-footer to the backstop. He is 31 for 31 in save opportunities, and Aaron Boone does stay in the game, and he's at third. First up is Garcia Parra, first at bat, and a little fastball to make it one and one. I think it's such an interesting comparison, Joe, between Gagne and John Smoltz. Both superb relievers, and they do it differently. One and two. But as far as making you look foolish, which in many eyes are the, the reason that a, a short reliever is a quality reliever, Gagne can do it with the best of them. Fastball just missed. It's two and two. He can freeze you with the fastball. He can make you get out front with the all-speed stuff. The guy who was a failed starter was actually shopped around by the Dodgers. No takers, and the Dodgers fell into and lucked into, I mean, to say one of the game's best, the guy's perfect in save opportunities this season. Last year, his first crack at it, didn't have a save in his professional career, saved 52 games. 2-2 pitch. Reaching for it for Cobb. Shows off that good arm, and Garcia Parra is 0-for-1 tonight. Those are the types of swings on which Gagne retires hitters. Nomar Garcia Parra led the league, the American League, in 99 and 2000. And to make him look that badly with the rear end out, little poke shot towards short, that's how Gagne does it. Well, the bench for Dusty Baker, the National League manager, is Garrett Anderson gets another base hit. That ball is going to get down and roll all the way to the wall. Anderson will cruise into second with a one-out double, and Anderson is three for four, lacking only a triple to hit for the cycle. Single in the fourth, homered in the sixth, and doubles with one out in the eighth. As Garrett Anderson cruises into second, Preston Wilson slides into the right field wall. Watch Wilson trying to make that play before the ball hit the wall and carry him back, trying to time it appropriately. So now the AL with a chance to do some damage, potential tying run at the plate as Melvin Mora will be the pinch runner for Garrett Anderson, and what a night for Garrett. Huge night for Anderson. Melvin Mora takes over, so it took the eighth inning coming into this eighth. Sosha still had Blaylock, Veritek, Dimitri Young, Everett, and Mora on his bench. Baker has only Jeff Jenkins. As a strike is in at the knees to Carl Everett, who started this season with the Texas Rangers. And off to a slow start in his new uniform with the Chicago White Sox way out in front. And it's quickly 0-2. Again, the Gagne changeup. Everett hitting 243 in 11 games with one RBI for the White Sox. 
White Sox started to get hot. They added Roberto Alomar. They've added Carl Everett. Their pitching needs some help. Everett just a defensive swing. There's an all-star with a slap at you swing. You can see that finger. That was the last pitch, that curveball that missed outside. That is the middle finger of Gagne. But he even grips the ball like it's going to be a changeup. All four fingers. One, two pitch. Everett stays alive. You think about the White Sox. They will start the second half seven games out behind the surprising Kansas City Royals. And what a job by Tony Pena, the Royals manager. They are 10 games over the 500 mark. One two pitch. Everett grounds one to first. The hop comes up for Sexton. Two out. Kansas City started off the season winning 16 of their first 18 games. And then they went into a spin and everybody was thinking, oh, well, they'll probably fall out of it. But to their credit, they have bounced back and played as well over the last month, three weeks to a month, as any team in the American League. Mike Sweeney, who has neck and back trouble, will not be ready when the curtain comes up on the second half on Thursday. Vernon Wells now with a runner at third, two out. Wells is 0 for 1. During the regular season, he's hitting 299 with 84 RBIs. One and one. Tying run at the plate for the American League here in the eighth. That ball almost with screwball spin. That's into left center field, and it's a one-run game. Morris scores as Vernon Wells. The tying run will cruise into second with a two-out RBI double. Some of you folks are getting an idea of why major league hitters love the ball up. We saw the home run by Helton, by Anderson on balls up, and now Vernon Wells between the belt and the letters. Rifles one to left center field to make it a run, one run ball game. And as you look at the way this game has been managed by Mike Sosha, now he's got Blaylock so good against right handed pitching to pinch hit here with a tying run at second base, ball one. Mike Sosha thought about these matchups coming in. He's held guys on the bench. He hasn't worried about trying to make friends on his own bench. And he's had the ability here in the late innings to get his matchups. That includes Blaylock, who takes ball two. 349 against right-handed pitching is Blaylock. With Gagne on the mound, Blaylock is the man at the plate for the American League. Two and one. Like a 2 0 changeup. It was. On deck is the number nine hitter, Brett Boone. 6 5 in the eighth. Laylock almost walked into it. It's 3 and 1. 2 1 fastball inside. So if Gagne threw Hank a 2 0 changeup, he'll get it again. And he lifts one into deep right center field. The American League is on top in the eighth. Blaylock, a pinch hit, two-run home run. takes a tailing pitch for a strike. There's a strike. It's 0-2. You talked about it earlier. Mike Sosha telling us before the game he couldn't take Gloss out too soon. He wanted to save Blaylock, his only other third baseman for the right spot. 
and Mike it, Sosha picked the right spot. And if it puts Laylock in too quickly, then Wagner pitches against him instead of Gagne as the American League takes the lead again. The Texas Rangers represented by second-year player Hank Blaylock, a hero in the eighth, 7-6 AL. Morning. Good, but after cheating on me, he deserves something way more painful. Tell it over a great tasting, less filling Miller Lite. It's Miller time. Get out there and save your country. <laughs> Johnny English is fun, fun, fun for kids of all ages. You're so hot. Rowan Atkinson, the star of Bean, is Johnny English. Rated PG at theaters Friday. lasts uh, the longer you can go uh, without sex save the date August 1st it's time for me to boom boom with the bridesmaids American wedding rated R at theaters August 1st let's say this is you yeah you're the king but being the king isn't always easy so when you're with Allstate you'll have over 50,000 professionals to help protect you from claims adjusters who can help you fix a broken castle to emergency assistance, to ride your rescue, to lawyers that go to court with you if you need them, and your Allstate agent who knows the moves to help you. Helping the king feel protected. Just one more way, you're in good hands with Allstate. N-U-G-G-E-T-S. Nuggets. Well, that's nice, James, but I asked you to spell rhinoceros. At Wendy's, our all-white meat chicken nuggets are so good, people can't get them off their minds. Why? It's the best 99 cents you can spend. Hank Blaylock with a two-out, two-run shot. And all of a sudden, the American League is out in front. We're in the ninth inning. It's 7-6 AL. And it's Keith Folt, former closer for the White Sox, on the mound representing Oakland. And the first pitch, Loduca swing and a miss. Only Jeff Jenkins remains on the bench for the National League and Dusty Baker. Keith Folk, very familiar with the mound here in Chicago. He was with the White Sox last year. That's out of play, 0-2. Going to Oakland in the Billy Koch trade, a trade that involves six players. Melvin Mora takes over in left field. He can play just about anywhere. He's in left field after pinch running for Garrett Anderson, who's got a shot at being the MVP of this game. 0-2 pitch. Another foul. Tim, we talked about Gagne being Mr. Automatic. 31 for 31 and save chances this year. It would go down as a blown save, even though it happened in the eighth inning. The last blown save for Gagne was August 26, 2002. He had saved 39 straight. And as it happened, Blaylock became the 12th player to hit a home run in his first All-Star at bat since Javi Lopez did it in 97. That's into shallow center field and easy for Vernon Wells. One out here in the ninth. For the first time, fans around the world will have the opportunity to participate in the official voting for the Ted Williams Most Valuable Player at tonight's All-Star Game via the 2003 All-Star Game MVP vote presented by Pepsi on MLB.com. Let's go down and check in with Kevin Kennedy. You know, that MVP of this game could very well be Garrett Anderson. He's had a great night, a home run double single. Last night, he wins a home run derby. You didn't get worn out last night? Yeah, I got a little worn out <laughs> last night. I mean, swing after swing after swing, trying to hit him up in the seats. He definitely is taxing on the body. What did Mike Sosha tell you guys before the game? Because a different feel down here in the dugout than, than I've had in the past. Well, I mean, you know, it's anytime you get between the lines, you're going to want to do well. And uh, I think just um, the mentality of 
you know, more of strategizing the game might might make guys get a little bit more into the game, so to speak, as opposed to, you know, maybe, you know, you're going to get to a bass and you're done, predetermined. So, you know, he didn't tell us when we were coming out, and we just went out and played. Garrett, great night for you tonight. Congratulations on last night. We'll see what happens tonight. You got a shot at the MVP. All right, Joe. Staying in the game, getting four at bats, making good in three of them. And now Castillo flies one to center. And the American League is one out away from the victory. They lead 7-6, two out, nobody on in the ninth inning. Tonight's All-State Good Hands defensive play of the game. The play by Carlos Delgado. Way back in the second inning to take the bat out of the hands of Gary Sheffield. And then the play by Ichiro. The American League flashing some leather as he took a double away from Pujols. Now it's for Kyle. And it's ball one that misses outside from Keith Folk. For Kyle is one for two since entering in the fifth inning. 13 home runs for the diminutive shortstop. It's crowd on its feet. It's 2-0. and oh. This is the largest crowd ever at what is now called U.S. Cellular Field since the park opened in 91. 47,609. Nobody is left. Everybody on their feet watching a 2-0 pitch to Fercal. 3-0. and oh. On deck is Andrew Jones. Andrew Jones tonight has had a big night with a two-run double and a home run. A 3-0 from Fulp. 3-1. We'll see if Rakal's taking on 3-1. Mike Socia moving Jason Giambi back at first base. One strike away is the American League from a come-from-behind victory. If the AL wins, the league will have home field advantage in the World Series come October. For Cal gets into one to right. Back at the track, at the wall. This game is over. 7-6 American League. They say the ball does not carry all that well in this stadium. And for Cal is a believer now. Keith Folk just exhaled. <laughs> Blaylock, one of the heroes for the American League with a two-out pinch hit, two-run home run to put Mike Socia's club on top in the bottom of the eighth. And it turns into an exciting but one, two, three, ninth inning for Keith Folk. A great ball game. What a thrill here on the south side of Chicago, the 74th. Major League Baseball All-Star Game, and this one belongs to the American League, a final of 7-6. to six. We will take a break. Much more to come from Chicago as the AL takes it. 7-6. The American League homering in each of their last three at-bats, and the last swing, Mike Socia told Blaylock to go up and do it, and he does it against one of the game's best, Eric Gagne. Back after this, 7-6 American League. The names you know, the experience you trust. Fox 8 News. They out there with the fun out there. We gonna hit out there with nothing to fear. Tear up the spot, get hot to make it rock. Always start here with the clear. Yo, number one, you gotta get with your real ones. Two, what you do is pop a couple of clear ones. Number three, call up a breezy. Four, on the floor, maintain the high score. Five, feeling alive, we jump into the ride, which brings us the six at the venue in the mix. They out there with the fun out there. Make it last out there. Always start with the clear. Chrysler Pacifica. Three rows of luxury seats. Fold flat cargo floor. Power lift gate. And the thrill of something totally new. 
Chrysler Pacifica. luxury SUV for 2003? Well, there's this. 4X Motion all-wheel drive. Beautiful. Touareg, the Volkswagen that does what other Volkswagens don't. Are you up to it? Cedar Point. The park voted best on the planet five years in a row. We've got the most coasters, the most rides, and the most fun to make this your most amazing summer ever. Cedar Point, absolutely amazing. This copyrighted telecast is presented by authority of the Commissioner of Baseball and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without express written consent. A two-hour, 38-minute All-Star game. 7-6 the final. American League wins it. Let's go down to the field and check in with Jeannie Zelasco. Thank you, Joe. And as the uh, Commissioner of Baseball walked over to me and said, you're not going to have any hard time finding me this year. You are right here. That breeze that we feel in the Windy City is the home field advantage, switching from the National League to the American League. But we have some hardware to hand out right now. And, of course, here to present the Ted Williams MVP trophy, the Commissioner. Thank you, Jeannie. Uh, Garrett, congratulations on being named the 2003 Ted Williams Most Valuable Player Award. Three hits tonight, leading the American League to victory in a really exciting game. Congratulations, you've had a remarkable year. On behalf of Jackie Archie, the American League, and everybody, a job really well done. Thank you, thank you very much. As Garrett Harrison gets the hardware, let me ask you, uh, what is there left to be done? The last time I saw you, we were handing you a World Series yeah. National Championship trophy, and now you've got the hardware here. Uh, you know, it's been a good year, and, uh, you know, this year's not over. Uh, our team's looking forward to keep it going, what we've been doing the last few weeks, and uh, we're looking to go to the playoffs as well. Did you feel a different intensity out here? Did you feel it in the dugout and on the field, the desire to win maybe a little more so because there was home field advantage on the line? Uh, I couldn't really tell because uh, the players that are in that dugout and that clubhouse, they come to play every day anyway. And uh, I expect that out of the players that I play against all the time anyway. All right, but you, you got to admit here, it got a little bit tense when it looked like you were going to lose it here. Oh, no doubt. I mean, you want to win. That's just the competitiveness of being an athlete. And um, we didn't give up, and Hank showed up well and uh, got a home run off a very good pitcher. You're always looking for a national form. Maybe you don't get the pub you deserve because you're out there on the West Coast. People have seen you now in the World Series. Is this even more of a statement here at the All-Star Game? Yeah, it is more of a statement, but I have to keep doing what I'm doing to get the uh, publicity, and uh, all I want to do is just come out and play hard. All right, congratulations, Garrett Anderson, the MVP of the 2003 All-Star Game. Joe Buck? Jeannie, thank you. We switch from the MVP to a guy who I'm sure was a close second with the most dramatic swing of the bat tonight, Hank Blaylock standing by with Kevin Kennedy. Joe, a very uh, close second he had to be to Garrett Anderson, the game-winning home run. Here's a guy last year that was slated to be a, a, an all-star, yet you had a tough start. You went back to the minor leagues, you got it back, and now you're here. Give me your thoughts. I was just happy to get off to a good start in the first half so the, uh, the players could vote for me. I'm very thankful to them. And uh, to be able to do something like this in my first All-Star game is really overwhelming for me. Uh, did you realize that there was Billy Wagner down there, John Smoltz, and of course Eric Gagne? Had you seen any of those guys before? <laughs> and take us through the thoughts of the home run. Well, I was lucky enough to miss Smoltz in, uh, in Atlanta all three games. But uh, I faced Wagner a couple times, and uh, that was my first time ever seeing Gagne except watching him on SportsCenter and stuff. So um, I just knew that he threw really hard with that good changeup. So just kind of pick one or the other and hope, hope you get your bat on it. You mean you watch him on Fox, too, though, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, man. <laughs> hey, congratulations, Hey, Great job. Well done. Thanks, Lord. And congratulations to you making the team as well. Thanks, Kevin. All right. All right. Joe, let's go back to you. 
Thank you, Kevin Kennedy and Hank Blaylock, the MVP of the night for Garrett Anderson. What a night for Garrett Anderson. He wins the home run derby last night. He goes single, home run, double to get that eighth inning scoring going. And it's Blaylock who puts a cap on it with a home run. 7-6 AL, back with more after this. Should I play it safe or go for it? I'd say either way, Annika. KFC Honey Barbecue Wings or New Boneless Wings. You competed with the ladies and the men. Do both. One great taste, two great choices. New KFC Boneless Wings with whole pieces of 100% breast meat glazed with our Honey Barbecue Sauce or Honey Barbecue Wings with the same great flavor all the way to the bone. Now get seven for $2.99 or 20 for $7.99. Now everyone can do both. Think I could make it on the woman's circuit? No. Let's say this is you. Yeah, you're the king. But being the king isn't always easy. So, when you're with Allstate, you'll have over 50,000 professionals to help protect you. From claims adjusters who can help you fix a broken castle, to emergency assistants to ride your rescue, to lawyers that go to court with you if you need them, and your Allstate agent who knows the moves to help you. Helping the king feel protected. Just one more way, you're in good hands with Allstate. Once there were two little rich girls, hotel heiress Paris Hilton and Lionel Richie's daughter, Nicole. Yeah, baby! They had everything they ever wanted until Fox took it all away. Uh, this summer... Help me! They'll go from the penthouse to the farmhouse. Do y'all want to help me pluck some chickens? I'll bomb it. You ever had a real job? No. But how in this world will they survive the simple life? Uh, a new series coming this summer to Fox. <laughs> the biggest stories in football are in the NFC, and the NFC is on Fox. Well, there is nothing like having a plan. Mike Sosha had a plan coming into this game, managed this game beautifully. The American League wins at 7-6. Let's go back down to Kevin Kennedy standing by with Sosha. Mike, it's a tremendous game. You said it. You were going to manage this game differently. You are going to manage to win. Uh, take us through the strategy you had uh, really all night, but especially late in the game. Well, we had. Uh, they, they have a tr obviously a great bullpen and a great lefty-right balance with Wagner and Gagne and, and Schmaltz. And, um, you know, we didn't really want to get in a bullpen war. We did anyway, but I think one of the big things was the Wagner. We wanted to make sure we got past him before we um, took Troy out and put uh, put Hank in there. And God, you couldn't have scripted it any better. It worked out great. Were you, were you a little bit nervous there that last at bat with for call? I tell you, that little guy's got some pop, and uh, I think the wind kicked up. And on this stadium, Jerry Manuel's telling me if that ball gets up in the up high, it'll get knocked down. But if you can keep it a little bit low, it seems like it gets in a jet stream and it'll keep going. You know, we talked about the home field advantage, and you know, you guys came back last year in the World Series, one game six, one game seven. Now, this would have been a National League year. Should you guys go to the World Series? Aren't you now pretty happy about that, that you could be back in Anaheim? Well, you know, we've talked about it. You know how I feel. I feel it's not so much getting home field advantage, it's how you're playing at the time. And um, we, went, we went through two series without home field advantage, losing the first games on the road, ended up getting to the World Series. But uh, when it's all said and done, yeah. <laughs> nice job, Mike. Congratulations. Okay, let's take it back to Joe. All right, Kevin, thanks. We'll come back and have a final word. 7-6, the American League wins it. Folk gets the save in his old home park. Gagne is the loser. 7-6 AL, back in a moment. Supercharged engine. 
When you need the power? What? Or not, we'll be there. Chevy. When you hit the brakes, a whole lot of things have to go just right. It's the same with brake repair. That's why you can count on Midas, America's trusted leader in brakes. Right now, get $20 instant savings on any brake service from Midas, even on Midas's famous lifetime brake pads and shoes, the last set of pads or shoes you'll ever buy. That's $20 instant savings right now from the auto service experts, Midas. In America, where the burger is king, Burger King is proud to introduce our juiciest, most piled high burger ever. The new Great American Burger, with four, count them, four slices of hearty bacon, classic American cheese, and a bakery-style bun. How juicy is the new Great American Burger? At least two or three napkins worth. The new Great American Burger from Burger King. Burger King, come on over, the fire's ready. Ever wanted to get away from the hustle bustle of the big city? We're gonna make Waterford Falls our new home. Oh, that's marvelous! <laughs> Falling on hard times, have you? This fall, one man is searching for a life less complicated, but he'll discover... Join me? Don't smoke, sir. Oh, it's string cheese! ...that these plain folks are just plain nuts. I can't eat this. I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Cardiac arrest. Come on, one a little piece. A Minute with Stan Hooper, a new comedy coming this fall to Fox. Well, there's your final from the 74th Major League Baseball All-Star Game. The American League wins it, taking away home field advantage for this upcoming World Series. 7-6 the final. Joe Buck and Tim McCarver with you. A little bit of history here tonight. First time that, well, they've been saying this time it counts. I don't know about that. Right now, let's talk about the game. What a ball. That was a fun uh, game. It, it was a terrific game that ended uh, indifferently, uh, a lot different than it started out. Only one run scored in the first half of the game and 12 scored in the last half of the So game. what you're trying to say is that you're, you gave up on me too I early. Did. That's why you said yes. that it would be a high scoring night and it took a little while and it was <laughs> what 13 runs. I'll give you yeah. high scoring. Okay, 20 hits, 13 runs, not but, bad. But in the way that Great. we didn't expect because it was Gagne giving up a home run, it was I mean the ball that Jason Giambi hit off Billy Wagner was just absolutely crushed and because they lost the lead John Smoltz doesn't even get a chance to pitch in this game. Yeah, I mean, you would think with a three-run lead that the National League, with those three guys from which to choose or from whom to choose, uh, would would get it done. Unfortunately, the American League had a little bit different thought. And I think uh, going in, we talked about the two different philosophies for the managers. I think we saw it to some degree. Yep. Uh, we saw Dusty Baker really rifle through his bench, Mike Sosha, because of the way his bench was set up, in particular Blaylock. We talked about it. He just confirmed it with Kevin Kennedy. He had to wait for the right spot to use him, and he definitely picked him for the right spot. Yeah, I think the reason Dusty Baker managed the way he managed, he had the big lead. Sosha uh, knew that he had to come back, but saving Blaylock uh, proved the right thing to do. I know one thing we'll be talking about in October. What? The 74th Major League Baseball All-Star Game. We will. Because it determines where the World Series will start. So like it or not, in October, this one will count. Final score, 7-6. to six. The American League wins it. Donnelly the winner, Gagne the loser, and the save for Folk in his return to the south side of Chicago. For more information on tonight's game and the latest in Major League Baseball news, log on to FoxSports.com. Fox Saturday Baseball will continue this week. It all starts with This Week in Baseball, 12.30 Eastern and Pacific. Check local listings for the game and time in your area. The 74th Major League Baseball All-Star Game has been a presentation of Fox Sports, your home for the 2003 baseball postseason. For Mike Weissman, Bill Webb, and many, many others, I'm Joe for Tim and all the rest. So long, 7-6 American League. Home to the 2005 and 2007 Daytona 500. Super Bowl 39. And through 2006, the home to baseball's all-star game and World Series. This has been a presentation of Fox Sports.